So I'm going to talk about um, our emission diversity statement because that's going to be our assignment for this week. So the next couple slides are going to talk about why we would have a mission statement and then a, an additional diversity statement and then going through the process of reflection to help you start to try to come up with writing one. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about why you would want to have a mission statement. Um, and the fourth bullet point um, is kind of one of the more important ones, which is you need to know what your vision or philosophy is before you write your mission statement. Some of this might already be determined for you. If you work in a corporate preschool, YMCA, um, or even a Head Start, the vision and philosophy for how children learn is already established. Um, if you don't and you're looking to open up your own program or you're an in-home, um, you're going to need to decide this on your own. Um, and it kind of has to do with educational theory. So if you are running a Waldorf school, Steiner's work is going to be deeply important to you. If you're Reggio or project-based, um, that's your vision of what your program is, um, and you need to be able to um, communicate that, and that's why we have that mission statement. Our mission statement takes our ideas of our educational theory or philosophy, and it gives us the framework for achieving those goals. So all the people that we work with, possibly our funders, our board of directors, um, our staff employees, teachers, and families are all on the same page. So it clearly and succinctly communicates what our goals are for our program, what the purpose of our program is, and then any framework for achieving those goals. Um, it also communicates to parents, and I think this is deeply important, the type of program that they are in. Um, if a parent wants an academic program and you are a Waldorf or Reggio, that is a, a real issue. Um, and it might not be something that would be resolved and the family might be more suited to a program um, that's going to do some of those academic goals. And that's not a failure on your part or a failure on the family's part. It's just that you have different educational ideas for that child. Um, so you really want it to communicate what you are looking for and how a children learns so that there aren't any conflicts coming up later. So on the left hand side, we're going to talk about um, early childhood education programs mission statements and then early childhood education program diversity statements. These are going to be a little bit different and they're actually going to be two documents that you're going to um, submit uh, within your assignment for this week. Um, so for a program's mission statement, um, a vision and a mission statement, they create, they're a set of goals and they are reflected in our planning, our policies and procedures. And that's a lot of what this class is about is how do you plan a quality program? what policies and procedures are going to support it, and then how do you implement it. So um, having clear goals is going to be supported by all of these things. Um, those plans, policies, and procedures are influenced by planning and implementing in all aspects of your school's program. The curriculum, your services, the activities offered, family involvement, how even your facility is managed, and then your hiring policies and even your financial management and where you choose to spend your money. So your mission statement is affecting all levels of your program. So it's really important that it's clear, it's concise, and it communicates the goals and the purpose of your program. Program. And then if you look to the right hand side, it's talking about our diversity statement. Um, and our diversity statement really clarifies our purpose regarding, regarding the program's goals for diversity. Um, if you look on page 43 of the textbook, it's going to have examples of diversity mission statements and kind of what other programs are working on. Positive representation in the classroom um, is really important. and as most of us are working within diverse communities, linguistically, ethnically, racially, we need to reflect and positively represent the diversity that we see within our program. So this is really a process of reflection and kind of the picture um, that I have is telling your story. So my mission statement and my diversity statement are gonna look really different from somebody else's. Um, our textbook kind of says that there are challenges to doing diversity work and they're doing it well. So this is really a process, highlight on the process. It's an ongoing organic process of evaluating your program. Um, this assignment where we're working through this, this might be your first time um, ever writing a mission statement or thinking critically about diversity in the programs that you work on. So, so take some time throughout the week um, to jot down ideas while you're doing the readings. Um, you can put it on your phone or on a piece of paper, but you're just going to want to think about things that you read that make sense to you or spark an interest in your mind. Um, and then you can come back to it and maybe journal with it. 
You're also going to want to take time as you're reading throughout the week to reflect on yourself and what type of programs you work within. How best can you clarify and communicate your vision? Because um, you really want to inspire the best change within your staff and your families, um, and you want to support your families. So how can you make your program outstanding? How can you support diversity? How can you um, inspire staff to support children better? Those are all kind of the questions that we're going to be working for. And our mission statement is a great place to start um, because it's going to communicate the vision that you have. So you're telling your staff, this is how we're going to handle diversity. This is the goals that we have, and this is the framework we have in order to get us there. Um, so this week, this is what um, we're going to be working on. Um, first, um, I'd like you guys to read chapter two from the textbook, and the chapter is entitled Diversity in Early Education. Um, I've already highlighted some pages that are going to be really important for you to read to help you with your assignments. Um, then I also have um, chapter two from the anti-bias curriculum, um, and that's a PDF on Canvas. And then there's also, I think it's a three-page excer excerpt from the same curriculum, and it's called the Anti-Bias Mission Statement, uh, and this is really going to help you come up with your diversity statement. Then our online weekly assignment for this week is to write a mission statement and a diversity statement. So the, the assignment is worth 10 points total, the mission statement will be worth 5, and the diversity statement will be um, worth 5. Um, I'm also going to be posting a video um, that's going to explain the director's file more in depth. Um, in the discussion board, we're going to be discussing holiday policies, and I talked about this a little bit, but I'd like you to chime in with your own experiences um, with programs that celebrate and then do not celebrate holidays. We're each coming from different places, and I'd love to hear how you guys celebrate holidays. Um, also, start thinking about what programs you want to observe for your first field trip and start contacting them. Um, it's due September 11th. Um, so start emailing or calling. You need to have prior approval before you show up at a school. Um, so just writing an email and not getting a response back wouldn't be prior, prior approval. You'll need to actually speak to ha somebody or somebody to agree to have you come over email. Um, and then there are some further resources as PDF. Um, on Canvas, um, and these are for your director's file if relevant. Um, if there, if diversity is something, um, or the universal design for learning is something that's going to be important to your program, or you're having issues with um, celebrating holidays, the three um, resources that I've listed would be good for you um, to download and save for your uh, director's file. 